we are living in a time of uh, reactionary reactionaries <clears throat> never before or seldom before has there been such a great uh, and violent differences between the sides different sides in the world today and uh, well we can safely assume that uh, conclude that the time of uh, ideals is uh, pretty much well not perhaps over but anyway this is a time of great uh, economical interests everything is about that now of course so uh, everything somebody does in politics today is based on economical interests you know as before uh, the east east block block was not about that of course it was more about these communist ideas ideology and uh, you know but now we have uh, russia it has become of course a major player in, on uh, the economical side and china as well so uh, I think that's one of the reasons why uh, there is so much uh, stuff going on today that is bad because uh, there is more uh, the struggle between the, those superpowers is more intense now than before actually yes earlier in the 60s and the 70s it was about getting uh, more weapons than the, the other guys of course and more nuclear weapons of also and then in the 80s that ended eventually and then uh, Soviet Union collapsed, of course, in 91. And uh, for a long time after that, Russia was too weak, you know, economically too dependent on the Western countries, Western of Western Europe in particular, but also the uh, United States. So they couldn't really know oppose them when it really mattered and uh, the same thing about China you know China was too weak until about 15 20 years ago 15 years ago they had a really bad economy and, uh, but then they gained uh, Hong Kong you know, and uh, so things got better eventually yes but uh, the problem is uh, um, those countries are fine because they are superpowers they are not gonna you know, collapse so easily but the problem is what about those who are caught in between of them who are in their interest zone well they are the ones who are really struggling right now I know for a fact that in the in Eastern Europe uh, especially uh, 
there are many countries that were of course poor and uh, but uh, they were at least independent before and now they have joined the EU and they have really no, almost no 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 dependence left when it comes to the economy and even politics and, uh, so that's another monster that they created the Western European countries in order to become as powerful as USA and uh, Russia and China Um, yeah, but as we have seen, not all of them were willing to stay together, so uh, it's all, uh, well, you know, uh, it's all actually about selfishness and uh, but also the the fact that uh, this idea about Europe without borders, you know, with just one single single uh, government leading it all from Brussels, that's pretty much I think stinks that whole idea, and it's not realistic either, because there will always be borders between those countries yes and especially countries of Eastern Europe who are members most of them are now um, you know they can never be their equal of course their equals so the Western European countries so uh, what happens is uh, And that even goes for some uh, countries that are not in the EU, like the one where I live, Norway. Um, what happens is that these people from uh, Poland, Czech, Czech Republic, Slovakia, Latvia, Latvia, and all those countries, uh, former Yugoslavia, also, especially Serbia lately they all come to the west to try to find work but uh, what happens once they find work they stay many of them have already stayed so what happens they just contribute to making uh, the economy of the already wealthy countries even better while they do nothing to help their own actually so that's really a shame I think there should be a law you know, against all this there should, should be a limit to how many people can leave a country you know, to go somewhere else to work you know, like that. And that, of course, should apply only those who go to a foreign, a Western country, for the main purpose of working, finding a job. Because ninety-five percent of them, at least, do that. They don't come here because they want to live here. Uh, like, I mean, they don't come here because they are so in love with this country or any other, right? So. <laughs> they don't love the other countries more than their own, you know. So, uh, yeah, it, it should be kind of restricted to how many people are. People can leave. Because it really, I think, it just weakens their own countries. And, uh, and same goes for those who are not from Europe. I think uh, 
schools for, for, from countries that are not at war or anything. You know, like, um, because when too many people leave a country, work somewhere else, you know, it usually ends up, you know, results in uh, you know, pro problems, you know, because uh, <clears throat> you know, I even though also it, they may be over overpopulated, but uh, still they lose uh, their working uh, working city you know then it's down so uh, that that really sucks kind of you know and of course as I want to start say in the beginning uh, this is a time of reactionary leaders and that's you know that's more clear now than ever before uh, in USA we have Trump who is extremely right wing of course in uh, Germany you have Merkel and in UK May they are all they are both very very conservative and, uh, right very to the right and in Russia of course you have Mr. Putin who is being a former KGB um, boss he is now really pro right yeah. he is even you know against uh, against gay, gay people and all that so uh, so that's what happens you know they are this thing with North Korea and Kim they're actually trying to eradicate the last uh, true uh, left-wing leader to the last one who is left that's what they are trying to do, I think. Trump, anyway. And not just him, he, there are also others who have this thing as their interest. So there can be no more, you know, idealist countries that only, you know, that forbid uh, capitalism and commercialism and all that. Because commercialism is today's God. It's so sad. Everything, everything is about now. About products, about service, about you know consumerism. Everything is about. Nobody really gives a damn about uh, ideas like socialist ideas they don't really even those who say they do <laughs> they have like all have you know newest uh, mobile phones and all that stuff computers they pay a lot you know for all that stuff while they at the same time you know talk this kind of hippie like uh, <laughs> socialist uh, lingo so uh, my advice to you who do that you should practice what you preach you know so uh, yeah it's really sad time to be alive I think, in this world yeah